Hi everyone, it's me. I'm making a video where you can't see me right now and my voice is just coming back. I lost my voice um, because of the last videos that I did, I uh, was attacked energetically ex a lot, <laughs> as usual. It doesn't take me down fully, but there's so many people that are um, actually paying people to send witchcraft and uh, things like this to me. And this is why this has happened with me and my kids. But with the stellium and Sagittarius, I'm gonna tell the truth. I'm gonna tell the truth no matter what, no matter who tries to stop me. So these attacks were so bad this time. And if you won't understand what I'm talking about unless I teach, um, how this happens and what it is. I didn't realize that witchcraft could even be affected, effective on it, on someone who didn't believe in it. Cause I never believed in it. Um, I don't associate with, you know, any kind of intent to harm anyone. So I'm not talking about good witches or, you know, I, I wouldn't even cons I wouldn't call if you are a good witch, I wouldn't call yourself a witch, but I'm, I'm talking about very dark witches, which is my mother. She's one of them. Um, the man, the man that is, has tried to take down my life completely. Uh, his name is Stedman. Uh, and my twins ex, they've all paid for witchcraft to be used against me and my children. And they all do this kind of thing themselves. I had to find out on my own that this was happening and I found out um, it's it's taken me a few years to find this out but it's all a direct result of my twin not doing what he's supposed to do by God so I just wanted to tell you guys that your donations are the only thing keeping me and my children going right now I'm um, currently with my 15 year old son and um, when I get attacked like this he gets in a lot of fear obviously and don't worry if you do donate it's all confidential I'm the only one who knows about it and God will bless you the only reason I'm getting attacked is because people know what I'm doing they know who I am this is a very dark energy that goes through anyone with an unhealed energy field so I could walk into a Starbucks and the person the cashier could attack me if they send this witchcraft and it will move through someone to attack me so this has happened so many times and I didn't want to explain it like this because there's so much more you need to know before you understand what's actually happening to me but I've had a fight for my life for three years actually for four years maybe even five at this point but everything I told my twin even 10 years ago has come true I'm a psychic I see into the future sometimes I see so far into the future that people don't believe me because I'm a visionary I see way out the thing is is my twin didn't listen to me until recently and he understands that everything I've ever said is now true However, I'm not, I'm currently had to block him out because he thinks he's going to try to come back into my life. And when I open that door and he doesn't do exactly what God wants, I get attacked. And so this is what's been going on. My twin is not doing the right thing. No matter what he thinks, he's definitely not. His ex is a witch, one of the most evil witches I've ever actually encountered besides my own mother. And this man Stedman who was sent to try to take me down and like I said this man Stedman is a multimillionaire and he knows many many people um, and when they do these attacks viciously this energy goes through everybody to attack me and my 15 year old son sees it and he can't believe it's happening they don't attack him, they attack me, which is the same thing as attacking him because if 
if I'm not okay, then he's not okay. But my twin um, is very, uh, I would just call him like a coward because I'm not going to lie. Um, he's just pretty much like thrown me into the lion's den to get attacked while he figures out who stole all his money, which is the witch, okay? Which she's going to jail. I already saw it. Um, they're all going to jail. I already saw it in a vision. Um, and like I said, I'm such a sweet person that before when I saw it, I didn't want that to be reality because even though people are mean and they directly attack me, I still felt compassion. But I'm here to tell you this is the 3D realm. We are not in the higher dimensions where this stuff doesn't take place. And so we actually have to fight for our lives as twins in the 3D realm, meaning we have to work with what we're working with here in human bodies. So I accepted that these people needed to be brought to justice, and they will. However, I really need support right now because I'm getting attacked viciously as the only thing I can do is come together with my twin and I'm very upset with him at the moment. Um, and I don't know if I can actually forgive him. And if I shut him out and cut him out completely, I am okay. So I am healing and recovering from opening the door for a day or two, okay? Um, so I'm gonna have to let him fall and learn his own lessons because I choose my children first above anything and me and my kids have been through so much trauma from his bad choices so if you're a, a, a twin it doesn't matter if you're male or female and you're experiencing this where you're having a lot of hardship but your twin isn't it's because you're loving them unconditionally and they're using that love against you in a sense they take the love and this witch, she knows how to manipulate energy, which, you know, I, I know how to energetically create things, but I've been so stressed out from fighting these attacks because they are non-stop. In a day, I will get attacked, uh, I don't even know how many times, all day long, basically. And I'm really, really starting to get worn down everyone and I really really want to get this information out to you but I have not felt well enough to to get it out to you and that's why they're trying to stop me it's called spiritual jealousy okay it's a subconscious trigger in people when they they subconsciously know that you're a very evolved spiritual person and they will automatically become jealous now, if you're a twin flame or you're more enlightened, you will not become jealous by this energy. You'll, you'll rejoice in this energy and understand that you have you know, common interests and you'll wanna learn from each other and all of that. But 98% of people are spiritually inadequate on this planet. I mean, my twin was too, but I tried to help and that's being codependent. And by trying to help, I got burned. So, you may have experienced this where people attack you for no reason, um, probably on a way lower level than me because I'm the person that's gonna come out and expose every single thing. And I wanna explain it to you in a way, step by step, that you understand this so it really makes sense. The thing is though, is that I'm not surviving because of these attacks and no one is standing up for me and no one is, is protecting me from this. I asked my twin to protect me, but he thinks money is all that's important and he doesn't understand that I just need him only. I mean, anything can be worked out. Everything can be worked out, but he's so adamant about materialism and money that, you know, I don't even know and I don't care to tell you the truth. I'm so tired of his bullshit. <laughs> Because my kids come first, always. And that's how it's always been. If, I ever, if there was ever someone around my kids that acted in a way that I didn't like, it's why I've never really been in a long-term relationship. Because I started seeing how they act around my kids and I cut them. 
because my kids are number one. They didn't ask to be born. I mean, it was definitely divinely guided and they were supposed to be born, yes. But it's my responsibility as a mother to protect them from evil. And that's all I've ever done. For 20 years I've been a mother and I've had to protect them from my own mother who's tried to destroy my kids because she destroyed her own. My, my younger siblings, I have five, they, they're, they're just gone. I mean, they're gone. It's they're robots. They're, they're totally taken over by my mother's dark energy. And they all worship her. It's very strange. Okay, but if you're like a healer, an empath, or a light worker, you may have seen this in your own family. I don't know. But I'm the only one that made it out okay. And my dad was a very, very loving man. But she did the same thing to him and took him down. Anyway... He died as a result, um, and he died when I was being attacked so much that I couldn't even say goodbye. So the things that I've been through in the past four years would make you cry if you heard what I've gone through on a daily basis. But because I keep getting attacked and I don't have the support that I need, I have the love and prayers from you guys, and you guys have donated, and thank you so much. But it's it's just not enough and I'm really concerned um, because I haven't asked for help enough because I'm a strong person and I try to do everything on my own but this has got to stop and I'm gonna stop it one way or the other you know all the witchcraft that they're paying for all the witchcraft that they're doing is not going to work because God's in charge and God is protecting me and my kids all the time. However, God keeps asking me to go to you guys to ask for more support so that I can feel safe enough to get this information out to you. Now, I wanted to talk about spiritual jealousy in this video. If you're experiencing this, if people are just reacting to you in a negative way and you don't know why, it's because they're hijacked by this demonic energy that is rampant on this planet. And I came here to put an end to that. And it has not been an easy journey for me. And I really need more support in order to continue. If I don't get the support that I need, I'm not gonna be able to continue and who knows what might happen. But I've tried to carry this alone and I've tried to do it all by myself for far too long. And I really can't take it anymore because my son is suffering right now, seeing me go through this. So, I'm sorry to be, you know, real harsh in this video, but my twin just like, my twin is like, in my mind, a loser. Like, I mean, and I don't, I never wanted to come on YouTube and say that about my twin because I only saw his soul, you know? Oh, I saw his potential and, you know, I saw the future. I have always seen the future, so I don't look now and be like, oh, this man is not who I think he is. But physically, his physical 3D is not okay. It's not okay. And what I've told him about all this time, and he's, he's treated me in the past really poorly. And so I just, you know, never talked to him really. And just recently, all these things have come out. And he's getting his karma. And he thinks he's going to come back to me. But I don't trust him. Okay? So I really need support from you guys in order to continue my spiritual journey. And I no longer hold on to my twin is going to come back because I'm a goddess and I'm fully capable all on my own. The problems happen when I open to him and then he sends all the people that he associates with send me dark energy. Well, that's got to stop. And I'm telling you right now, Daniel that I'm not playing your game anymore and I cut you out and I don't need you and I'm gonna go on this journey alone. And I don't care if you like it or not, but you are not gonna pull me into your bullshit because I've already worked through it, I'm enlightened, and you and your stuff is your stuff and I'm not taking it on anymore. And I will be successful doing my work without you. So that's this video, I'm gonna make another one. Love you guys.